She looking for that rabbit. <laughs> is he a he or a she? It's a she. she. I say he. I say, guess what? She. She. She's not hung up with sexuality like a human being. She don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you want to know about my yeah, ankle? My ankle That's thing. what I heard. That's what I heard. Yeah. Now what happened yeah, I was? Hear, I could hear you coming with that. <laughs> That's right. Now a friend of mine. A musician friend of mine in Cape Town, because you know, I, I, in the morning I do these. Anyway, I, I send a message in the morning on my uh, Instagram telling people to get up and, and, and exercise. You know, so yeah. a friend of mine in Cape Town knows, knows me. Cape Town, uh, uh, Garth. He's a he's a musician, excellent musician and, and artist and like that. So anyway, he um, he says uh, something. Oh, oh, where, where's your uh, what, thing, what did he say? Basically, he wanted to wear my ankle bracelets, was because. I wear the, I wear these I wore this when I was in Cape Town a lot, and I was known because people would hear me coming all the time, and so, and so that would that that's what would happen. But I'm gonna tell you a story. I'm gonna tell you how how this is, but I'm gonna explain something else to you first. I'm long, I'm a radio man, so I'm a long busy. Just just hold on a second. So I do this initiative for audio drama, and I'm I, and I wear this a lot, and um, and one time I was I, I was Cape Town quite a while when. Um, like maybe six or seven, about five or six years before, somebody said to me, said, I get it now. Audio drama, that's sound effects. <laughs> I said, yeah. I like that sound effect. But let me tell you how it came about. Each one of these is a, a sound, too. Yeah, it's yes. Little, yeah. These are these are um, mangrove seed pods. Mangrove right. seed. Now, mangrove is a very important tree because uh, it's, it, it's, it, it sort of creates an ecosystem around it. Anyway, but also in some parts of the world that they're called love beans. You know, and uh, but anyway, so that's what it is. But I I used to go to uh, India a lot. And one time I was in India and I was doing this play. I was I was directing this play, uh, Weird Sisters from uh, Terry Pratchett's uh, play. And uh, I was these a lot of expats there. It's a place called Oroville. A lot of people from other countries. And uh, I was I was having a particularly dip difficult time because like it's people from Australia, France, England, like but the, the English the England people was giving me the hardest time, right? Now, as a director, you know, you, there's certain things you have to do. Anyway, they was giving me a harder time. I was, I was going, I was going, oh, boy, oh, boy. But I, I would walk a lot in this place called Oroville, India. And there's, it's, a, it's, a, it's in a state called Tamil Nadu. It's, the, it's this southeast part of India up from a place called Pondicherry. Anyway, um, so, uh, and I, I was just walking, and, and, and the, 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 Tamil, the Tamil people, you know, they're in that area, that that's their village and stuff like that. And they so they, they, they look like me. You know what I mean? I mean, like they're dark skinned. In yeah. fact, when I was there, if I put on a longi, it's like a skirt, you know, it's, I would put a longi, it's called a longi. And I would here wear a Tamil shirt, a little pocket. And I was shaved and I was riding a Tamil bike around. And people, they would just yap to me in Tamil because they thought I was <laughs> Tamil, you know? So it was very good. Thought you were on the, they thought you were a native. Yes. So anyway. So what happened is these kids were putting on a show. They they make instruments, musical instruments, and it was I was just watching them. You know, he's putting on a, a drumming show. I guess to show their instruments, and um, they asked me what I thought. I said, "Oh, that's great, that's great." You know, that's that. but but you know, if you uh, if we create a little story that you can introduce each drum, it might be good. But they started listening to me. They said, oh, I said, no, wouldn't, you wouldn't have to do anything not she normally do, but it would just be a good introduction to the thing. So I showed them what to do. Or we rehearsed a little bit. It was quite simple. And they said, oh, that's great. And so there they, they called me Brother Anthony. I said, oh, Brother Anthony, that's really good. That's really good. And, but that interaction with them, it gave me like a, a, a I don't know, a, it helped me with the, with, the, with the expats that I was directing in this play. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like a therapy for me, you know, and so, oh. so, so, so that's so that's what I did. Um, so, anyways, so, so, um, so we, the play was very successful, um, very successful. It was huge. Very, it was outdoors, like three. We did three three performances, and it was, it was very successful. Oh. And and then I kept on going back to those guys. They make some beautiful instruments. They made this thing like it's like a, it's like stone. It's like sections of stone, and it's like water around it. And you dip your hands in the water. And you just rub the stone, it's this beautiful sound just comes out. Really? It goes, it's really, really beautiful. So the next year I came back, uh, forgot I what I came back. I remember this like that. Yeah, yeah it, it was it, it, a lot of stuff they did. They, they, they have this, they have these beds, like they have them, uh, I know you know, people know about this, like you lay on a bed, but there's like almost like a harp-like thing underneath, and you play the instruments to the, the, the music. 
you know, vibration goes through your body. It's very calming, stuff like that. They make all kinds of things. But anyway, let me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to this right now. So I went back the next year, and uh, and and they, like I said, I make musical instruments. And they had some little things on a, a shaker thing on a stick, yeah. shaking like that. I said, you know, uh, when I was dancing in New York, I would I would wear that. I would wear something like that on my ankles. Can can you make something like that for my ankles? They say, sure, brother Anthony, anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I just expected them to make one thing. And I, I, that's right. Also, I was doing another, like more and more, I think, audio drama that next, the next time I was doing audio drama. And I recruited them to do one of the groups that was presenting this audio drama for the, uh, uh, you know, for that, for that day. In fact, that's online. It's on, it's on YouTube. So anyway, um, so they came and they, and they presented me with like six of these. Wow. Just like this. And see, it's, and, and this is, you know, the, you know the, this cow is very durable. They yeah. gave me six of these. So I so I just started to very wear them. Nice. But at, throughout the years, I think I only have two left. Throughout the years, I've Ooh. given them away. I was in this place called Africa. There's, there's this place called Africa Burn. This is, uh, uh, what do you call that? It's based on on uh, Burning Man here in the states called Africa Burn. The first year I was there, and it's the thing where you give you give gifts of uh, there's a so I gave one of these one, one ten there. I gave another one to somebody else in Cape Town. One of my, so I'll tell you that story some other time. Anyway, so so that's it. That's the story of, of, of my of my mango my my shaker. And Very the nice. I started wearing them now. I think I'm gonna wear them every morning only because goth. Suggested it. So, <laughs> so I take suggestions for people. I listen to people. You know, if you if you, if you wear it every morning, then I'll, then I'll, I'll hear you coming. I'll, <laughs> I'll hear you coming. That's very nice. Well, you know, I'm pretty early in the morning. Let's see what happens. You know. So how's it going? What's the, what's our what's our reading for today? Did you look at it yet? Yes, uh, yeah. I did. It. Tell you what it is today, very briefly. Uh, so every day you you just you just move that that uh, marker to, mm -hmm. to the next. Okay, okay. Yeah. See. Uh, this is isn't this the second? It's because the yesterday was the the, the uh, first. Yeah, no. Yeah. This is the second. So I I got through with this first reading. Uh -oh. This is two Chronicles thirty two. After all that Hezekiah had so faithfully done, Sennacherib, mm -hmm. king of Assyria, came over and invaded invaded Judah. You know the Old Testament is it's filled with stories of, of war and conflict. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, and the, how, uh, you know, they call, you could say the, the kings of Israel, the good kings, the bad kings. Mm. The good ones are the ones that, uh, you know, the bad kings, they, they say, he, he did evil in the eyes of the Lord. And that explains okay. why. So this is the story of Hezekiah and the, uh, then it goes on to tell about Manasseh. And Manasseh had, had some serious uh, issues, mm -hmm. as most of the many of the kings do. Then next comes Romans. I haven't I finished that reading, but I haven't done this yet. Romans 15. Now that there is no more place for me to work in these regions, since I've been longing for many years to see you, I plan to do so when I go to Spain. Well, that this would be Paul talking talking about what he's. But he's, uh, no, Paul, Paul, that was the guy that was, uh, well, I read the Bible a couple of times, uh, that was, uh, he was Saul and became Paul on the road to Damascus, right? You mentioned. Yeah, he was, okay. he was knocked down by, he was knocked down by the light of, of Christ at the road to Damascus and it changed his life entirely. He was, he was so, such an experience, he was blinded for, mm -hmm. I think, uh, three days and then he, and then he was totally, um, mm -hmm. became, uh, the Lord's instrument for for spreading the uh, the gospel. It's interesting you should mention the number three because you know you usually do three. You're going to do a third one right now. So three is one of those numbers that uh, that uh, I guess is uh, appears a lot. Yeah. So what's the third? What's the third reading then? Well, so we've got Psalms. Mm -hmm. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. This is this probably is one of uh, David's Psalms. He often. You know, praise to the Lord when he's uh, when he has his various struggles, mm -hmm. and then uh, the Proverbs. Take the garment of one who puts up security for a stranger. Hold it in pledge if he does it for a wayward woman. 
Mm -hmm. uh, not sure exactly what that means. Take Neither am I. Yeah. As soon as they mention some other stuff, I, I, you know, mm -hmm. but I've, I've studied, I've, I've been exposed to so many different, um, how do you say this, um, spiritual or religious or whatever uh, realities. Like I said, I was in India a number of times, and they're, they're mainly Hindu, but you know, there's some there's some Muslim, some Muslim areas there. Um, but the, the area I was in was, was Hindu, and they have, to, you know, they it's very interesting the way they do things, and they have these, you know, I guess you've seen those things with Shiva and stuff like that, where they had like animals that like like some animal have a, a, a elephant's tusk, and then you know, like that, and they're very yeah. devotional. They every you know they they light incense a lot, and they. And do a lot of uh, you know you see orange orange is one of those colors that they they use a lot and then of course of course you see those those monks you know it, and I think every well that's Thailand too Thailand well not, well India I guess the same way but let me just say Thailand Thailand they the just you just like we here we, we used to go have to go into military service for us you know a number of times you know conscripted for like two years or four years whatever it is yes well in Thailand you have to be a monk for a certain amount of time. I don't know how many years, maybe one year, whatever it is. Everybody, king, everybody, everybody has to become, has to be a monk, you know. I didn't know that, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah, you, you give up everything you, and you have to, it's not really begging for your food. I mean, people say beg, but you know, you you, you ask for sustenance to, to walk around and stuff like that. But oh. you know, of course, all this stuff, Every everybody, how do you say it? I don't want to say game the system, but there was a report. I saw this because it was, I remember it because it was quite funny to me. There was these guys, rich guys that were, were supposed to be doing their monk thing, but they were all on the plane, playing with expensive watches and stuff like that. So they wasn't really following the monk thing, you know. <laughs> but you know, I've been to a lot of religion. I mean, I mean, now you just you you've you've just read and been exposed to only um, uh, Christianity. What, what? Well, for the most part, I've been. Of course, it's uh, the, the Old Testament is. Uh, Hebrew, Jewish, and, uh, so I've been exposed to that, and then and you, you've been to that. Uh, um, um, they used in, in fact in, in Cape Town they have this. I think it's a Friday it's called a Shabbat or something like that. So every Friday I had some friends and I would go and they would break bread together and that kind of thing. Did have you been to um, Hebrew uh, like temple and stuff like that? Uh, very some, very little, mm -hmm. or not not a great deal, mostly. Uh, Mostly my experience has been, has been uh, Christian and with my wife. She's a, she was uh, in church before I was. Hmm. I, I, was I really was converted. Uh, you could say, uh, we say we're, we're saved. I was saved. Uh, uh, September 1st, 2000, 2002. Uh, that's, when okay. I, that's when I accepted uh uh, Jesus says, as my Lord and Savior. Mm, it's mm, a wonderful mm, thing. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a life transforming thing. And it served you well, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. I'm hoping I can always be a good, uh, that I can do all, all the good he, he would he would want me to. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting because, uh, you know, when I was born, my mother, my mother wanted to name me uh, Antonitis. And that's like a, it's supposed to be some sort of Roman, you know, general poet, whatever, you know. Like I, I prefer to say poet, right? But my grandmother was in the room. <laughs> she says, "Well, this was the story. Story." She says, "That boy is going to have enough problems. His name is Anthony." <laughs> <laughs> but that's not that's where this is interesting because it doesn't stop there, because I was baptized in uh, 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 Saint Anthony's of Padua. In the South Bronx, in the, in the not the Bahamas, was in the Marcina section of the Bronx. I was baptized in that church. The, the, my baptismal says, says is, you know, it's a, right? it's Saint Anthony's Church, right? But that's not all. Hold on a second. When I went through India, right, I I went to Padua, where that guy Saint Anthony was actually he was he was like Portuguese, but you know the Italians claim him. You know how that goes. Anyway, but they have his esophagus or whatever in the in the in the in the entombed there, whatever it is, because this. Uh, in fact, he was the first monk. We talked about monks. Saint Anthony was. The, he was the one that started the monk kind of thing. He's the one with the with the with the with the, with the animals and stuff like that. Communes with the animals. Really? But he was the first monk. The first solitary kind of 
Yeah. The monk, the whole monk thing, well, at least in the Christian faith, I don't know in any other how they do it. But anyway, so... so, so he, the, did he have a, an order of monks or was he just a loner? He was a loner. He was like like me. I'm, I'm perfectly what he is. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the funny thing. They have his 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 tongue and I guess, well, you know, the stuff, whatever that, that is, the right... Oh. That's what it, because I guess he was known for, be, for being like talkative. That's what I do. I, do. I talk a lot. I'm a radio man. I talk. Blah, 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 blah. That's good to talk. Wow. Well, not, some people try to shut me up all the time, so I don't know how good that is for me to talk. You know, That's why sometimes I like to, I like to listen to people. I like to see, you know, you know like, like, like people are doing. But uh, I mean, it actually trans... i tell you some other time. But the, the whole Anthony thing is very interesting because it keeps on... In other cultures, it keeps on... Uh, just the, the same, I and mean, it's it's kind of interesting, you know. So I mean, but what what was when you were when you were, um, um you know when you were baptized or whatever have you? What, what was the significant change? Was it what made not only your wife, but was it like a? I mean, a lot of times I look at church and and like that is that people, it's for the community to come together. It's like a communion, you know, yeah. certain people to come together. So what's your what's your church like? What's the you know, people from all kinds of stratas. What, what, oh, yeah. what, what, what's your church like? To it's a, it's a, it's a big church. It's uh, mm. over on, uh, uh, it's the old old St. Charles Road, and, and uh, actually, it's McKelvey and and Creevecore Mill Road. So it's a it, it's a it's a very large church. It was started by a man who he started uh, with a prayer group in a. In a garage, and uh, huh. this grew, it grew bigger. And, uh, this is still in St. Louis, or yeah, we, okay. St. Louis, yeah. So we have about five thousand members, but, wow. uh, but uh, they don't all come at the same time. Of course, of course. yeah, yeah. yeah. You suppose to only count, I guess, during Easter or, or Christmas. You count. Yeah, <laughs> so you, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you well, I you count your members then. I don't, or I guess yeah. when the we, well, they have three services, generally three services in the oh, weekend. So that's a lot. If they have ever have just one service for some kind of thing, then you see you get you get a feeling of how many members yeah, there are because yeah. yeah, the numbers go up. But it's it's a really uh, I think it's I would call it a non-denominational Christian church. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's been a wonderful. Mm, 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 well, we see we have we have friends there, and we've been in different study groups. We mm. study there, and uh, and uh, there's some worship team and all it's been a it's been a very it's a very uh, helpful and uh, supportive experience for us put it that way mm -hmm. yeah it's good community mm -hmm. community when you say helpful I mean like stuff I know I, I heard that when the, you know when the country was first founded and stuff like that you know uh, um, when the what do you call those uh, it's like the Puritans, whatever. Oh. The, the people that help you raise the barn. Everybody gets together and they all put up a, a barn together. And then the next yeah. time, you know, like that. Do, do you all do stuff like that? Or what do you... I mean, not raising a barn, but I mean, yeah. do you all do stuff, you know, like... Oh, yeah. There's there's um, different kinds of... Or different kind of community groups. And then they have different types of ministries. Like there's a group that goes into the city and tries to... Help uh, the young uh, young men and, and the, I guess young men and women in the city that are that have been uh, that don't have much uh, you know don't have much parenting or, or need uh, various kind of helps. There's you know there's various charitable things that people get interested in. You know they they have a they have something that that appeals to them that they want to do and mm -hmm. then they they do that and then of course there's there's praise and worship, and uh, there's just a community of, and we have, well, there's missionary work. Uh, we, we support missionaries, and, you know, all those things go on. What, do the missionaries come from this area, or you support missionaries? As, as, uh, uh, what do you mean by mission? What, what do they mean? What well, do you mean support, by missionaries? We support some missionaries that, for example, actually would say would, would go do their work in Africa, and then uh, they come back, and uh, they might stop by our church they're not necessarily from here but stop oh, by right. our church okay. and they, they tell what they're doing and what they're mm -hmm. doing uh, to to promote the gospel mm -hmm. I guess and, and, the, and the word of the Lord and then mm -hmm. and then people give a 
you know, make give a, a special contribution for, for their sure. missionary work, you know, sure. along with along with the mm-hmm. tithes and other things that we do. So it's a it's a uh, yeah, it's it's been very helpful to my wife and myself, and, and a great place to you know to worship and to uh, and to find community. Right. Both of those. I, I mean, I mean, I'm 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 not a I'm not, I don't sweet I don't I don't. Uh, I don't know what's the right. I don't subscribe to any religion. Uh, now I've been I've been exposed to so many religions, but I grew up Catholic. What I really liked about Catholic, though, it's very interesting because it was like a oh man, how do you say it? It's like they, because of confession, for instance. You know what I mean? It's good to talk to talk to someone now and that there would be no judgment. You, you know what I mean? It's like the yeah. priest. In other words, you you're supposed to be able to confess to a priest anything, and the priest can't say anything. They got to accept that confession. So it's almost like you took the priest, not the priest is God, but like you're talking directly to God. You know what I mean? Um, about, anyway, but 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 I, I enjoyed I enjoyed the, the whole thing about see the way I look at it as far as the Catholic Church goes is like say for instance. You start on like say let's start on on Monday, okay? Monday you're you're doing whatever you're doing. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right? Friday, you it's like you you're supposed to eat fish. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, right. That's one then, of their that's the their their practice a a, a ritual, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. But then what happens? So Friday you eat fish, right? Then Saturday. Is is basically that's when you go to confession. So now, from the time you confess, you go to your confession to the time communion the next day, which is Sunday, you're supposed to fast. You're not supposed to eat anything. Okay. So basically, it's like Saturday night is your fasting time, and also this is very convenient here. But also Saturday, because you're supposed to not you know drink or you know do anything like that, you're not really supposed to be partying on on Friday night. You know, rather on Saturday night. You know, you're supposed to keep yeah. yourself pure for the sacrament on Sunday. You see, so uh, what? Ha- is, is, is confession a sacrament? Is that no, a sacrament? no, no, no. It's not the, sac- the sacrament is when they, when you take the sacrament, the wafer oh, or whatever okay, it is. You know, okay. yeah. so communion. Yeah, communion. Well, I can't say communion. Yeah, communion. Exactly. I'm sorry. Did I say maybe I'm not using the right word no, sacrament? I don't really right. do it. I follow. I think so, I do. Yeah. So what? So so what happens is so Sunday. You know, so basically you're fasting on Saturday, and actually you're being, uh, lack of a better term, you're being good on Saturday. It's all this partying on Saturday night and getting into trouble. That can't happen if you're really a practicing Catholic, supposedly. I'm just saying, yeah, you know, yeah. this is my understanding of it. I'm, I could be wrong. I mean, maybe they just told, maybe when you're a kid, they tell you this stuff and <laughs> you're supposed to, you know. All right. So anyway, so then. Your story interesting. So then what happens is after church, say your church is 9 o'clock or 12 o'clock, then after church, right, then basically you can eat because you've been fasting. But that's when, at least we used to do, at least my grandmother used to do, you have this really big meal on Sunday, right? But yeah. then you have enough left over for, say, say uh, Monday and Tuesday, yeah. maybe even Thursdays for those leftovers, right? Wow. So that means that Friday, you know, you got rather Wednesday, you got to go out and buy more food, maybe whatever, and, and whatever you're doing. But Thursday, you know, it's like a strange kind of day, you know. Uh, maybe, of course, you can eat meat from Thursday, rather from Sunday to Thursday, but Friday is like the fish day. So you, you should have a fasting day. Well, the fasting day is Saturday night, I guess. But then what happens, though, so, so, so what happens is, um, on on Sunday, I'm going to go back to Sunday now. That's when the big meal is cooked. So that yes. that that makes you left over for the with the, the Monday, Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday meals. Well, so it's all very convenient if you do this, if you do it very, if you do it correctly, then you're fine. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then the other thing I find fascinating from traveling, excuse me, I, I know now you got me. Now you got me going. Okay, I just thought of, I just thought well, of something. You, you, I just like, thought of, you like that part of it, right? You like oh, I love that part. Yeah, very good. Well, it made sense to me. You know what? You eat fast. You eat well. You you uh, a quiet day. You know you you confess. You know you, you confess your sins. You know what I mean? Yep. Then then uh, actually then you're good for another week. Okay, I, we sort of abuse. I guess as kids we sort of abuse it. You know, as you go to confession, you know, uh, I curse five times. I blah 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 whatever it is. Then you have to go to the stations of the cross. You know, you know, do five Hail Marys or you know to Station Lord's Prayer, all that stuff. Anyway. So, <laughs> in other words, the priest 
he he prescribes what you need to do to yeah, to, 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 to be uh, to be uh, Absolved or to be? To be yeah, I guess absolved. Like, yeah, I guess, uh, that's a good. Absolved, reconcile, uh, all them, all them big words. Yeah, yeah that's good. <laughs> <laughs> he, he tells you what you need to do. <laughs> exactly. So, so I, I, I sort of enjoy that, right? Now, the, I, oh, I have to say one thing though. When I did wasn't when I was in Italy, I did go to the Vatican. Well, I'm saying the Vatican. I went to uh, uh, what's the the Sistine Chapel. Yeah. And what people don't understand is actually is a chapel. So yeah. I pr I prayed in the Sistine Chapel, but How you know, yeah. but the thing is, people go there because it's like a like a, a tourist thing. People people talk, you know, like that. And so every once in a while, the guy he goes like he says, "Silencio," you know, like you got to be quiet. Yeah. yeah, because you're supposed to be quiet, and yeah. it's a chapel. Oh, <laughs> it's I remember also, that. That reminds me. I would, I would laugh when when my uh, my wife and I were, were fortunate enough to get to uh, visit the the cathedral in Köln, I think it was. What's, what's it called? Köln, in Germany. Oh, Köln. Oh, Köln. Uh, that's K-O-L-N? Yeah, yeah, in Germany, yeah. I know that from music. So I went in, in there, and, and you know, and I wanted to be, we were looking around, and and, and I think it was it might have been a, a priest or something who says, you know, take your hat off, take your hat off. See, mm. that was considered dis uh, yeah. disrespectful. So yes, yes, yeah. That, which I didn't know. So of course, I took it off, but that's a... Mm. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, but that's yeah. interesting too because the whole hat thing is interesting because, like in the Yoruba culture, you have to cover your head because what happens is that's where spirits will enter. So it's almost like the Catholics or, 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 or Christians saying, oh, oh, keep your head uncovered so the spirit can enter. You, you see? It's like, a, I don't want to yeah. say the opposite, but it's, it's like, it's kind of interesting. I mean, you know, I find and, it and interesting. The, and the Jewish people, of course, they wear their, they wear their little. Uh, Yarmulkes. Yeah, yarmulkes, yeah. So that's just, that's just different. I got a joke for that. Okay, I'm sorry. I got a joke for that. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm laughing at my own joke. Well, it's not my <laughs> joke. It's just a, a thing that was said. They said, well, how did that start, right? And, you know, because the men have to, you know, do, do wear the yarmulke, right? And then they put it a certain part in the head. Then you realize when balding patterns start, the balding pattern starts from that area. So obviously the first guy... So basically, he said, "Oh man, this is this is not good." So they, he started putting the, <laughs> the cover up his ball spot. Okay, I'm sorry. I I'm that's what I've I'm, never I'm, heard I'm, that. Yeah, that's I, what I, I'm, I'm telling you. I've never heard that. And then I'm, the, not, you know, I'm not sure I'm I'm going to share that with my don't don't don't, don't, shh, don't don't say that. No. <laughs> Okay, you know, oh, so some religions can't take a joke. So you know, you, you 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 know, when I was in Cape Town, that's when that whole thing with Muhammad and they're doing the cartoons, and they the, the, yeah. the Muslims are getting really upset. You know, Cart like, they do a cartoon, and that, that's that's like a, a death sentence to draw to draw a cartoon hey. of Muhammad. That's wow. That's well, a, well, that's the whole thing. The thing is, but like another interpretation. Well, my this is my interpretation. When when well, okay. Here's here's the thing. Okay, let me try to get this right. As far as Christianity goes, you know, you, you, you got, you know, you have the Old Testament, like you say, right? Okay. So let's say, let's say the Ten Commandments, right? They're doing the Ten Commandments and they say, man, this is really difficult. And they pray and they, look, God, this is the stuff that you got us doing. This is really, you know, this is not, this is not cool. This is, you know, we, we having a hard time with it. And God says, ah, oh, man, you guys, okay, here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to give up all my power. I'm coming down like a little bitty baby. I'm going to go through what y'all go through to show you that it's not bad, right? It's, it's not as difficult as you. So, so, so God gives himself up, you know, yeah. and it comes like baby that, Jesus. That is story. Yeah, and it comes baby story. Jesus, and the, you know, comes with, with the poor so in the manger and stuff like that. Da, 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 yeah, da. Yeah, that's a story. Mm -hmm. Then like story. that. And then, 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 then what, then what happens is, Remember, remember Jesus, who, you know, don't have, don't, doesn't have any powers enough like that. So as he's growing up, you know what I mean? Of course, he has a car. He get a trade because his father's a carpenter, you know what I mean? Yeah. He gets a little trade, you know. But also, he starts, now remember, from 12 years old? Okay, yeah. From 12 years old to, was it 27? Somewhere, yeah, or something 30? Like that, yeah. 12, 12 to Whatever it is thirty, twelve to thirty. You don't see, you don't see Jesus. Like, wait, you no, know, we don't, we don't hear much about what's going on. So the the conjecture is, so Jesus is running around the world. You know, I mean, not what the world, you know, at least Africa, because you know we went to went through Africa, we came back from Africa. So he's, to Egypt, yeah, Egypt, but you know, oh, Egypt is Africa. But but the, the conjecture is, remember that Egypt 
is where the Nile River, because the rivers run run back. Nile River runs up, all the other rivers yeah. run down. You know what I mean? Nile River runs north. Yeah, that's right. So, so basically, um, people come to up that river. You'll be going north, right? Mm. So if he's coming that way, that means that all the knowledge. If you go, I guess down the uh, yeah up to your depth you go down back down the river then you get to other parts of Africa including all the way I guess Uganda right, right, Uganda is like the source of the Nile River and then it goes up there oh so okay. the conjecture is that if you go up the river yeah, yeah that's I'm, I'm confusing too, yeah. you know what I'm saying I, I anyway the, the source of the source of the Nile is like where Uganda uh, uh, like Rwanda is now that kind of thing so so what happens in that in that area is uh, so knowledge comes so people you know come up that day and because Egypt the people from all it's like a crossroads so people come from all over the place okay great so what happens is they say that he, so his knowledge was coming from all over other places because people were coming like that so when by the time you see him again he has all this knowledge you know he's he's, he's got knowledge of medicine of all this stuff you know so then he's applying to, so his ministry his his three years from like 30 to 33 three right years, yes, sir. So his ministry, that's, what, that's, yeah, that's that years. three again. So his ministry, those three years, he's just applying the stuff that he learned from basically twelve to to thirty, you know. And so and so so when he does stuff, basically he's saying, "Look, I walk the earth like you're supposed to be walking the earth." You know what I mean? And I'm just doing what you're supposed to be doing. And I don't know, see what the problem is. You know, you see, there's no problem. No, you don't understand. They said, look, I'll give you I'll put an example. Okay, they said, they said, no, <coughs> we'll give you an example. Like, for instance, these 10 commandments you talk about, look, blah, blah, blah. He said, okay, look, 10 is too much for you. Great, no worries. Let's just do two. Okay, <laughs> love <laughs> love God with all your talking, heart, da, da, da. Now you're and, Let's get and, it down and, to two. Yeah, and, then, down and two. do unto others as you do. Now, if you, you look at it, yourself. so if you look at it, all those other commandments, you can uh, are in those two things. Yes. So he just made it simple. It's like it's like ten commandments for dummies. You know, you know that that kind of thing. So anyway, I, so I like that. I like <laughs> ten commandments for dummies. So so, so yeah, we will make them two for you. So basically, what it is. Make it two. So so yeah. basically, it was 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 God was basically I'm, saying. I'm laughing, but but that is that is essentially uh, yeah yeah. I'm, well, I'm, I'm not disagreeing. That's that's what he did. Well, it's not me. I'm just saying this is. This is what it is. I mean, there's yeah. this whole other thing where the Ten Commandments came from because Moses was supposed to do it, but that, but he was in the court of again uh, the e Egyptian court, and they have like 22 what they call confessions, which is not commandments. They're like, they're like, did you? And then you say no, I didn't, or yes, I did. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of different. Like say, say for instance, like stealing, right? The the, the negative confession would be something like uh, the the uh, you know. Uh, they would ask. They would ask, "Have you stolen from the king?" And then you, yeah, it's a question. Have you stolen from the king? And then you say, "Well, yeah, I did steal from the king." They said, "Well, okay, well, you know, you stole from the king." So yeah, yeah, well, I'm, I swear, I'm not going to do it no more. Blah 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 blah. So it's not like, it's not like thou shalt not steal. It's like you ask a question. Oh. So now you think about it. Think about it. Like say for instance, say for instance you have a, a say for instance you're like a I don't know a 16 year old kid right, and you got your your uh, six-year-old or eight-year-old brother, right? So if your brother is, is is asking you these negative confessions. Now you can't lie to your brother, to your younger brother. You don't want to lie to him. And if you lied, if if you said no, I didn't steal from the this uh, steal from the king or the king's cattle today, or that well, that means since you lied, that means not only did you steal, but you also lied. Yeah, yeah. And now, but you're doing it. Your little brother's been asking you this question. So now you lie to your little brother, your own kid and kid. This is really bad. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so, then, so the next time you think about stealing from the market, somebody like said, "I know my little brother's going to ask me, have I stolen today? So maybe I shouldn't steal." You see how it works? It's a different yeah. psychological thing than yeah. somebody says, "Don't steal," it's because then you. you right. <laughs> well, you know, that's like, the same. They say with the commandments. You know, as soon as they, you say. Uh, you know that there's i think there's a rebelliousness in within uh, perhaps within the human heart as soon as we hear don't do this then yeah, that's, that's we're thinking oh, maybe I, maybe i want to do that Gotta try maybe that i want to do that yeah maybe i want to try that of course that's that's a uh, that's something that uh, i guess everyone uh, 
it deals with us. That's where we're, we're all sinners, essentially. But anyway, finish finish the story. No, that's the story. I'm just saying, but do you see the difference? If you say don't do something, automatically a human being by their nature, whatever, is going to do it. If you just yeah, ask them if yeah, they did it, yeah. then they, they can say they did I mean, it's it, like, but then you start like thinking a, about not doing know, it the next time. I tell someone, you know, don't don't think about a beautiful woman. Don't don't think about that. Right <laughs> what well, what's what's the first thing you're going to think of? I got you. I got you. So that, that, that's that's the whole thing. I mean, you know, so I'm just saying, is it different approaches? Is it different approach to come to the same conclusion? Yeah, but, but you, you didn't finish the story. So after his three years of ministry, what did oh. what did Jesus decide to do for us? Oh well, that was, from my well, my understanding, my you know, understanding all that stuff, all that stuff is that um. Uh, you know, the, the, the whoever did, did the whole nailing on the cross thing of that, any bunch of things that, uh, and then basically he's saying like, "Hey, look, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take the burdens, all this stuff that you all said that you did, that you was impossible. I done did it. Now since I do it, I've been the example. Now what you need to do is do what I did. So that that's my that's, that's the interpretation I get. So in other words, if if, if, G, if Jesus walked on water, yeah. guess what? Right now you still sort of be able to walk on water. <laughs> You know, yeah, if Jesus healed the sick, then right now you're supposed to be healing the sick. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but I, I, as I see it, then Jesus said, uh, and I decided, uh, you know, since since you you did this a little bit wrong, he yeah. said, I'm going to take your punishment for you. That's that's the mind-blowing thing. He said, uh, you know, since you are sinners, I'm going to take your punishment for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it right here on the cross. And you're thinking, what? You know, why? How could he do that? Why would he do that? And uh, and then that's what uh, that that's what he did. So in other words, he's already he's already paid the penalty for our sins. That's it. and that that's you well, can only only believe that by faith. No, but how, now 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 you can now it's sort of confusing to me because if you say that we're all we're all sinners, but some entity came and took the sins away then almost you're saying like oh it's done I don't have to I don't have to do anything you know uh, uh, it's like you don't have to do anything anymore you understand what not, not exactly it's not because once you once you once you realize okay I you know when I read the Bible put it this way I, I'm convinced <clears throat> am I am I God no Am I Jesus? No. So what does that leave? I'm a sinner. Yes. Yes, I am. So therefore, what's the remedy for that? The remedy is that, that God loved us so much that he, he took the penalty for our sins. And therefore, uh, we, uh, by, by faith in God, in Christ, we have access to uh, eternal life. Of course, and that is... That is. Oh, hold on. Let's go back to the sin part. I'm just trying to figure out if I'm just trying to say if this entity took the sins, then that means there's no more sin to be taken. You, you understand? I mean, I, 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 no more penalty. Well, well, you're not. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. So he didn't take the sin. He took the penalty for the sin. He took the penalty. Yeah. He took okay. The so there's no he more. Paid, he paid the price. Yeah. So that means you shouldn't be sinning because the, there should be. Okay, um, hold on. Um, okay, make me understand this. If the penalty was taken, that means there's no more penalty for something, which means that you shouldn't be doing something because there's no more penalty, or because, or, or you you can do something because the penalty is already gone. I'm just. You should. Well, yeah, that's a that's a key part. You once you once you recognize, accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, and then, so we're not living for ourselves. We're living we're living for Christ. Then, then. You, you don't want to sin anymore because you don't want to you, you don't want to hurt Christ. You don't want to sin. You want to turn away from do our best to turn away from our sins. Okay, yeah. hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you use the word hurt, but that's not what you really mean. But you, like I said, then it goes back to that thing. If then uh, uh, Jesus the Christ is the ants is the example. That yeah. is that I'm just I'm trying to. That's what I'm. He's the example and also the solution. Yeah, but if you okay, fine. But if you're doing the example, then you become the solution too. If, if yeah. in other words, if if Jesus was the Jesus being the example, right? And then if you are following the example, and then Jesus the Christ through that example was the solution, then because you're following the example, you become the solution also. No, no, true. 
I think I see what you're saying. Nah, I'm just trying. I'm not. It's not what I'm saying. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm, yeah. This is what. This is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we are. We are the solution, and that we could perhaps uh, lead lead others to <clears throat> to Christ and salvation. Yeah. Christ is Christ is a solution. It doesn't. No, it's, it's, um, am I making any sense? Well, no, you made. You, yes, you made sense when when. I'm following. I'm, tr- I'm following the sense that you made. I'm interpreting the sense. I'm interpreting the sense. Okay, let, let's go back. So, if, uh, if okay, we we did the solution thing, but then then each individual has to do the Christ thing, right? Male, female, whatever it is, do the Christ thing. Now, yeah, each if, individual if, <laughs> when they when they hear the gospel. They have a chance to be saved once they're once they're exposed to it. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I don't know about hearing, seeing, because that's like a mental. That's like a a a, 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 a brain, a cerebral thing. That there's, there's a big word. Yeah. A cerebral. It's a brain thing to understand something. But if you see it, in other words, if 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 I see, let's go back to the walk in the water. I just like that part. If if I see somebody walk in the water, I say, wow, how did they do that? And then they keep on walking. I'm gonna get out there and try to walk on that water too. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's the that's example. Uh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm being. Yeah. I'm gonna, you know. That's a, that's an example. Yeah. Well, I'm, no, I'm not no, saying I'm not saying people should walk on water. I'm just trying to say that. Well, so I mean that, that's what Christ told us. So that you you should be able to walk on water. But uh, you know we we, we pretty much uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't. <laughs> But wow, it, but, wow. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. But if you if you can't he, walk on water, said, that means that Christ you didn't. Is saying we we should be able to do the things that he did. But that's what I'm trying to yeah. say. I'm using walking. It. Okay, forget yeah. the water part. Yeah, I, I but, get you. So so that's what I'm saying. If you so if you study the way Christ studied, and you do the stuff that Christ did, and you live in Christ like, then you don't have to. How do you say? You don't have to. You don't have to. St- you are being it. You're being the example, and just like he was the example. Then everybody, if everybody's being the example, there's no. You shouldn't have to convince somebody to be example because it's such a compelling example. If you, you if you're healing yeah, people yeah. and you're walking, on, well, I'm gonna forget the water thing. If you're healing people and being kind to people, and you see that kind is better than da da or whatever it is, yeah. Then hey, they did as we as remember I told you to turn me the Bob's your uncle. Easy, you can. <laughs> Hey, just just do that. Just, just do that. And and that way you don't need. And I'm gonna say you don't even. But you don't. It's not necessary for you to study something because you, the study is right in front of your face. You know what I mean? It's right. Yeah. It's, it's you, the stu- the example is the study, and the study is the example, if you will. You know? Yeah. Anyway, look. I can I, I can I, I I look look I, I like. It's like I said, I've been exposed to so many things that uh, so See, many different you, religious you orders say, that I'm. You would say, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> my, my tendency is to say, uh, "Thank you, Jesus," because I'm I'm thankful that I've been that I've been saved. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, but I see I don't I don't do the Jesus thing. To tell you the truth, I mean I I I'm, I go I, I'm what's called a, I'm what's called a, there's a, a French order that came about. In fact, the founding fathers, a lot of the founding fathers, was just called a deist. Deist, you know, yeah. uh, the deist, uh, like like you know Thomas Jeff. We talk about Thomas Jefferson, a lot of them guys, Benjamin Franklin, those guys. They were they were deists, and what they all it meant is that they believed that that God exists. God, you know, p- uh, did put things in place, and then God said, "Well, it's up to you guys. See you later. Bye." Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, then like then, then then you're, then you're supposed to well, you right. know. I've heard that that's like a a, a watchmaker guy that puts mm-hmm. the. Puts the watch yeah. together and then uh, he, he, he leaves leaves the universe to run on its own. But then what happens if you want to be a Christian? Then you have you to be a Christian means that you have to to be a Christian. It means that you use Jesus to get to God. You know what yeah. you, you do the teachings of Jesus, you get to God. To be a Muslim, you got to go you got to go through Muhammad yeah, okay. to get to God. To be a Buddhist, you got to get to God. Christ said, uh, "Let's see." He said, uh, "Let me see what he said." He said. Uh, no man comes to the Father except through me. Wow. Exactly. What a, what a thing to say. There you Consider go. that. The, Here that, he is, a human. He's saying, no man comes to God except through me. That's right. So one man. Because so I'm, I'm. That's what I'm. That's exactly what I'm getting at. I'm getting at. I can't be. A, I can't be a Christian because I don't believe that you go through. You go through anything to get to God. Well, you see. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it either. <laughs> when I was before I was before I was. Uh, Saved. 
I, I got you. No, I'm not. I'm not arguing. I'm not. I'm not saying anything about I that. I only believe it. I believe it by by faith because. It's oh, there you go. Well, back to what I was saying. We we walk by faith, not yeah. by sight. So <laughs> we we're in agreement. It's just that you know, I, like I said, I'm I'm not approaching it as, a, as 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 a, as a Christian. I'm approaching it as a as a regular human being. You know, how, how, do, I, yeah. how do I make this plain? Yeah, I I'm, I'm just trying to say, no, I'm, mean, I'm, a, I'm a deist, but I can hang out with Christians because yeah. I, 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 I can, I'm doing the Christ-like thing. You know what yeah. I mean? Even though I don't believe, for instance, I don't, I don't believe, I don't believe that that Christ is the only way to God. Okay, but 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 the Christians do. You see, I don't believe that 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 uh, that Mary was a that there was a holy, you know, a Mary kind of thing. I don't believe that. Right? I don't believe in heaven. I don't believe in hell, you see? So therefore, I'm not subject to that, but still I can live a Christ-like life, even though I don't believe in those things that Christians believe for them to continue to be Christians. But I can be a Christian without believing those Christian things, you yeah, see? Yeah, well. Or I can be Christian-like without believing those Christian yeah, things. You can, be, but, uh, you can be You can be Christian-like, but I, but I think that, I think that uh, unless we, Unless we are saved from our sins or can turn from our sins, our sinfulness will will destroy us. Like we teach, I, I do a, a group at church called uh, Men's Fraternity, huh. and it talks about how men are, you know, hurt in various ways uh, growing up, some huh. more, some less, huh. but but hurt, hurt by one experience or another. And then how, how men react to these hurts and sometimes you know like we react to we react to the hurt like say let's say let me give you some example say mm -hmm. say alcohol alcohol abuse okay mm -hmm. a man a man says you know he, he doesn't want to feel this way anymore so he, I'm going to I'm going to take a few drinks and then I won't feel that way anymore I feel I feel better for the time being. But he miss he misinformed. He doesn't understand about, about drink. He doesn't understand that a drink, taking a few drinks, uh, alcohol will will how you say uh, dehydrate you. It dehydrates the cells. So you don't understand he, that he's doing he he's taking the wrong. That's he why he's taking the wrong. He, he's destroying himself. Just like just but like he's like taking the wrong remedy for what he's looking. He's taking the it. wrong remedy. So if, if Christ that's is the remedy, it, that's then it. that's the thing. Christ is the remedy. That's there that's the uh, Christ is the remedy. But mm -hmm. men will take the wrong remedy. They're dealing with the problem, but they're going to take the wrong remedy. And the and and our, our what we teach is the wrong remedy will eventually destroy us. That's right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm going to leave you with that. You know, leave you with your coffee. Better be careful with that coffee. You're not supposed to drink coffee after after twelve. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cause that'll destroy you too. That coffee oh, and that too stuff. Much oh, good, hey, too much. Too much of yeah. anything. Hey, too much, moderation. Too much that's, water. Too I, much water can that, destroy. That's right. There was a case like that. There was some. Oh, I read that something. No, I heard it someplace where they person drank so much they had some contest. Some I think it was the states too. Somebody had a con. Some DJs, some crazy DJs, morning DJs. You drink so. Somebody drank so much water that they actually died, and those people got sued or something like that. Wow. Really, mm -hmm. really bad. But Vaughn, I'm gonna leave you. you got to go because yeah, it's yeah. Sunday, and 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 um, well, I'm hungry too, as usual. I, oh, I, I, I get up early and I just do my drinking, my drinking well, of water and exercise. Now I gotta find yeah. something to put in my belly. Ah, <laughs> yeah. You have a blessed day, man. I'm glad we could talk. This mm. is good. All right, man. You take care. You take care too. Stop by again.